Good morning everybody, this is Zero Gravity Training. It's a little bit chilly, so I'm already finished the workout. It's always good to see you. Happy Monday. Of course, for those wonderful individuals who stepped first time on my channel, I want to introduce you to my video workout library. More than 500 workouts I already posted. All you have to do is just press the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram for more updates and more, I hope, quality content for you. Today is one of these days when I hit the jackpot with a calculation of workout amount, exercise amount that all together brings so much joy and efficiency. Today is a basically body weight training for chest, triceps, some functionality, core muscles blended with heavy kettlebell swings. It's fun to have uh, kettlebell swings in between attempts, uh, but you also can just take a little break and uh, save a little bit of time for the next attempt. So you can do it with a kettlebell or without. I recommend you to use kettlebell swings for more efficiency. Basically, this workout contains three rounds. Each of these rounds are similar to each other, except the goal is to push as many unbroken reps as I can in two of the exercises in each round. It's gonna be dips and it's gonna be push-ups on parallels. You, if you don't have parallels, you can just do bodyweight push-ups, of course. At the end, blend it with burpees. Except burpees, we just do 10 reps to finish the round. So what is unbroken reps? It's the repetition that you can do non-stop. Let's say I set myself in a position on chest dips and I start doing one, two, three, four, and then suddenly I feel like I need to stop. <laughs> to take a break and to push another one. That won't count. So what counts is only unbroken reps. Why? Because it gives you opportunity not to bring yourself into failure. Failure, I'm against it, at least in this particular exercise. Because if you will lead yourself to failure on the exercises, you simply won't be able to spread the nice intensity throughout the whole workout. Because if you do, let's say 40 reps for me at a chest dips, then in the next attempt, I will, I will be already done, maybe down to 10 or something. I don't wanna do that. As a result, I had a nice smooth intensity by following the unbroken reps. Now, if we talk about pause, so in the sense of pause, I prefer to just intuitively keep going. I was taking five, 10 seconds more or less there where I felt like it, but I did not stop. The goal was to keep going. And as a result, I finished this workout in 17 something minutes. So the only issue I had is on the kettlebell swings, my uh, kettlebell was simply getting out of my hands. They were swollen, but I kept fighting. So unfortunately I didn't push the 30 reps with 100 pound kettlebell, but of course I split it and I finished all the distance. Enough talking, God bless and let's go. Alkaline air is here with us. Let the force begin. <laughs> Peace. So we start in five, four, three, two, one. Max chest dips. Ten. Alright, 
finish with the 10 burpees. One. Oh, 
27. Pulling out of my hands. Three more. Let's go. All right. We're already done here. Try to do it 15 and 15. <coughs> My hands are not holding it. Right, let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. with 10 burpees right away. Woo! Last dance. Let's go. Look at this here. Alkaline. God bless. 